that we're going to start the not a four hotline thing. And if you okay. think you're a four, you should send in some messages so that we can tell you that you're not a four mm -hmm. uh, and that you're not John Lukovich or Joseph mm -hmm. Simone. Call the number if you think you're a four. And also, if you used to think you were a four and yeah. you, you know, uh, rescued yourself from that. Yeah. You that had a delusion, religious conversion. Yeah. Then you should also message us and tell us. We could probably come up with a list of some sevens that we would encourage to have commit suicide. That's the thing. The big hormone enneagram. John Lukovich, 415, sexual self prez 458 traffic. I'm David Gray, self prez sexual, 9 with one wing, 974 trifix. What up, it's Emika, I'm an 8 wing 7, sexual self prez with 854 fixes. Hi, I'm Alexandra, I'm a social self preservation, 9 wing 1, 963 trifix. Like and subscribe on Apple and Spotify, and uh, leave us a review if you want to support the show with a donation. You can find us on Venmo at Big Hormone and PayPal.me forward slash Big Hormone. All right, everybody. Typing tips and tricks that they don't want you to know. Who's they? Yep. Yeah. Who is they? It's a good question. These are the typing tips that we probably spoke about at some point, but got edited out. Mm -hmm. Some uh, people with more decorum than us probably decided that. These weren't good ideas for you guys to hear, but yeah. since it's just me and David, we're going to bring it to you raw. These, the, the they also could be the secret backroom conference that happens at the IEA conference, yes. where yes. there's like baby blood, uh, all kinds of sexual rituals. Toddler sa things. sacrifices, you know? There you go. Yeah. Aliens. Um, right. Enneagram Illuminati might be but, getting in the way of yeah. this, so... We're just going to go through all the types and share with you some of the unexpected tips and tricks that you need to know to recognize each of the types and uh, buckle up. We got, we got hold of a secret manuscript. So this is two part. We got hold of a secret manuscript. We don't know exactly its origin, but we mm -hmm. also downloaded some of this information directly, directly. ourselves from, from the source in, in, interstellar. Yeah, planetary. Yeah, so yeah. anyway, enough of uh, us uh, talking about ourselves. The number one thing that you need to use in typing people is your disgust and your hatred. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, what you hate about somebody and what you hate about certain types mm -hmm. is the most important thing. Right. So let's just start our, with everyone's least favorite type, type nine. They're yeah. just everywhere. They're the most They're common everywhere. types. If you're not even sure about someone's type, just start with nine and right. half the time you're going to be right. I mean, look for airheads, you know, mm -hmm. that's nine. Uh, just vacuous people that are, just want to sleep and eat and chew grass. You know, when I think of types as animals, this is the type that feels the most like cattle. Yeah. When you think about cows grazing in the field, the first impression I think of is nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think nine wing one uh, eats the grass in more perfect rows. Mm. And the nine wing eights is more of a, you know those bulls that, they're just big for no reason? Yeah. They're just go. thick. Yeah. So if you're looking at somebody and, and it's not just that they're physically thick, but their soul or essence is thick. Mm -hmm. something about them felt thick once they came out of the womb. Start with nine wing eight. Well, and it's kind of a thickness in the brain too. Mm -hmm. It's like just, just like there's just a, a lump of fat there where the yes. brain goes. Yeah. Mud. Mm -hmm. All the nines have a cream, but it's cream, but nine wing eight is mud stirred in with the cream. Uh, there's like a inarticulate way that nine wing eights, move their mouths. You could say that about eight wing nine also. And then nine wing one, what do we what do we say about them? They're a little bit nervous. They're like polite cows. Mm -hmm. You know, they're kind of making sure the other each each cow, each of the nine wing one cows are 
making sure they each have room for each other or whatever. Yeah. And equal distance from each other and trying to be fair or something. If you can't imagine that this person is hugging trees, that this person wouldn't shed a tear mm -hmm. for nature, mm -hmm. then they're probably not an eye wing one. It's kindness for all of humanity. And this was someone who probably had like bodies in the basement mm -hmm. and they'd get away with it because they're just so nice. You couldn't imagine that they would do anything like that. Here's the thing. The, the other thing about nines is this is the type that everybody wants to fuck. I mean, I didn't want to bring it up for fear of, you know, vanity. Well, it's the himbo bimbo type. You could say that about seven. It's more true for nines because they're easy to project on. So it's, it's a bimbo, himbo bimbo type that you would like to stick around in the morning after. Well, it's also like if you take the tree hugger thing that's getting to an abstracted a bit that's like universal lover energy right mm -hmm. it's like it's like sexual energy dissipated into everything or something or connected to or the nine is connected to the electric yeah lib libidinal energy of the universe nine wing one is more the palatable side of this and nine wing eight is the porn star there you side go. of this some nine wing eights are kind of the conservative republican and, mm. nine, and then nine wing one is the liberal hippie. So whatever right. that, that does relative to sexual activity and, you know. On to six. It's almost like something about me on a cellular level is on the opposite pole of what six is doing. Just existing, just breathing. There's, you know, a bunch of different types of ways sixes can show up. But one of the most common ways is like the punchable. This is someone yes. who feels like they're bracing themselves to get punched. Like, don't, don't hit me. You know, that, yeah. that mm -hmm. feeling. And I think to an eight, that's probably the loudest kind of energy in the room. Uh, right. Like, wait, what are you doing? Like, why are you being this way? <laughs> yeah. You know, whatever that comes along, if it's convenient, I am the one who would like to punch them. If you don't have the urge to repeatedly smash this person's face into a yeah. wall. Mm -hmm. either to wake them up or because you're angry with them <clears throat> or just because yep. probably not a six. This is probably the most annoying type yep. in the Enneagram. Well, it's just, it's like all the questions, right? Yes. It's just like, just do something. something, just do anything. I don't care. Just do one thing. It doesn't matter. The, 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 the sky isn't going to fall if the one thing that you pick of all the options you know, doesn't work out. Whatever. Right. Just go and do something. Th that is the other thing. Just how overly verbal in a way that needs your involvement. And this, this type can also be confusing because you might get like the punchable six, but then you get the fierce, mm -hmm. aggressive, tough guy, girl six. Sure. Or you get the Karen six. Mm -hmm. Those are just the three major types and and, you know, there might be subtypes there. But if you're dealing with the care in six, I mean, that's, that's a forceful type yeah. of six and annoying in a different way. Uh, and the tough guy six is just want to fight. Well, I mean, just like Karen you, is universally hated. So I mm -hmm. mean, that's one thing to just remember about all of these sixes. They're, they're, there's not, nothing very appealing about them at all. No. So, and then the, the, the tough guy, you know, Kyle six, that's also just, uh, I don't know. It's the insecurity. It's almost like <clears throat> insecurity, you know, on steroids instead of actual toughness. Right. The punchable six is annoying because you're like, pick yourself up. Don't mm -hmm. be so pathetic. You know, don't be so pathetic. You want to like pick them up and the Karen six won't shut the fuck up about you know some anal thing that needs to be fixed and then the uh tough guy tough girl six it's just starting too much shit mm -hmm. either way if you're not annoyed yeah. immediately and you don't feel like this person's asking too many questions it's probably not a six right i i was very passive as a child but looking back there were a few kids that were friends that were the children of my mother's friends and when mm -hmm. they would come over you know some of these are i'm sure were sixes because i would just reflexively start bullying them mm -hmm. and i was super this passive is, 
right? This but is the I just, bleed. I just automatically just just wanted to just abuse them and just thought it was hilarious. This is the type that's most likely to go sacrifice their lives for and like military war, also. Military, yes. Yeah. Orientation to some kind of daddy, yeah. some kind mm-hmm. of authority. Uh, maybe it's their parents, mm-hmm. maybe it's their job. Right. You know, so look for the daddy orientation. Oh, this is the slave type. Nines can be slaves in a way, but this is a slave that's actually invested and working right. their ass off. And maybe they're managing the other slave. Yeah. They're the ones reinforcing the attachment and getting people, you know, you're supposed to do your job. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it might require like in a, in a cult like that Osho cult mm-hmm. that, there, that there's got to be some sixes or six fixers six fixed nines that are sort of chiding people about doing the right, right thing about what the master wants or absolutely something. yeah they're the they're the cult it, it's funny because they're the cult breakers but they're all the they're also the cult maintainers exactly <clears throat> all right so we've said enough about six uh let's go to seven let's see there's several types that like hearing themselves talk but mm-hmm. i don't think there's any other there's any type that likes themselves more that's right. seven does that's right and so this is like the next fuckable type but they would be the ones coming on to you well that's true we might have had some experience with that it's flattering but also there's the quality sometimes that uh you know since they're going from thing to thing to thing that you're sort of just another uh you know meal just yes generic, yeah it's a butterfly and uh yeah. this, this slutty that's right whether or not they've got sexual in the stacking mm-hmm. this feels like this could be a very slutty person here and that they'd want to experience every kind of drug at least once kind of thing mm-hmm. get that feeling from them it's also the person that uh surprising level of suicidal depression that does not match the way that they present themselves because there. in real time they're pushing away you know negative whatever painful hurtful mm-hmm. uh feelings thoughts etc and and quickly moving to something else so it's sort of making this giant build up more than in any other type in a way yeah of uh negativity that can lead to suicidal ideation they're also very negative but it's not they're not actually metabolizing negativity so this is That's this true. type complains can complain more than any other type, but just look for how entertaining it is and look for how quickly they move on. Yeah, it's not about solving whatever they're frustrated about. Right. It's, uh, it's more uh, filling space and having more material to be frustrated about. Seven suicides are more surprising Yeah, they are. than any other type. Because usually people are like, I didn't see that coming. They, were, they seem like they were having a good time. Yeah, there's some sevens that... Uh, we could probably come up with a list of some sevens that we would encourage to ha- commit suicide. That's the thing. Like this person won't shut up and they think mm-hmm. everything's coming out of their mouth is worth hearing. They'll upload a typing video that's an hour long and they expect you to actually watch it. Because there's, they're, they love the sound of their own voice and they complain so much, uh, they actually become boring because oh, yeah. they're, they're saying, the same kinds of things and the same kind of tone and attitude of frustration and irritation that they actually uh, become dull and uninteresting. Yeah. If anybody is listening to this and is wondering what their type is and hasn't been typed by us, go to Um If you want more tips that are uh, a little bit more serious, you can watch our videos uh, and subscribe to Any Grammar members. And uh, you can order a typing at our website. We can keep going with this, but we've got more where this came from, and we might do the instinct stockings yep. at some point. Or never. This might right. just be a one and done. <laughs> yep. These are the tips that they don't want you to know. Okay. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's good. Who's they? <laughs> Who's they, right? Who's they? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've done tip typing tips before, but these are the ones that we edited out. That we, yeah. <laughs> right? That you're not supposed to so, know. But today we're gonna we're gonna let you in on the, on yeah. the secrets. 
t- they could be us or could yes. be just the whole could, who knows? The, the Enneagram Illuminati in the background somewhere. The yeah. Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.